Hi everyone and welcome back. Oh yeah, let that sink in. I'm sure we all agree buying second-hand hardware can be fun at times. What we look at today is this HD6970, a monster of a car that came with a dirty secret. And when I say dirty, I mean it. This first, non-reference AMD card on the channel, was made by Asus and it is quite hefty. This beast will happily take three slots in your case. I personally love the Direct CU2 lineup of GPUs. This feels premium in hands. This card comes with four display ports and two DVI outputs and will require a dual 8-pin power connector to run. Let's see what hides under that aluminium shroud. Very easy to take apart, just four screws holding the card and the cooler together. A nice black PCB. Good to see the support bracket and look at those VRMs. I bet we could push this card really hard with some overclock. The cooler is heavy and check those fat heat pipes. I believe this is where the direct CU name comes from. The GPU has direct contact with those copper pipes. The thermal paste was quite dry, after all, don't think it was ever replaced. Let's remove the aluminium shroud off. It's secured by four screws. Oh, look at the amount of dust. This has to be the dirtiest card I've laid my hands on. Wow. Hope you now understand the need to wash the cooler in my kitchen sink. Best to remove the fans and get on with some deep cleaning. That's a dusty thumbs up. Ah, of course, there's a hole in the paper. <sighs> Next, let's remove the old thermal paste from the GPU itself. That's better. With all of the parts now clean, I applied fresh MX4 and put the card back together. A quick ask of you guys, please download the latest version of Heaven Benchmark and let it run using these settings and post your scores in the comments below. I'd love to see what your machines are capable of. The HD6970 pushed 780 points, beating the 5870 by quite a margin, it's nearly 20%. Total system power consumption during the benchmark was quite high at 237 watts making it less efficient than the last week's HD6870. Let's play some games and we start off with Far Cry 3. Roaming about the island and we saw nearly 44 frames per second on average. There were no significant hiccups and mostly smooth gameplay. Dying lights run really well and I saw 43 FPS on average, which is almost 10 FPS more than we saw with 5870. That's an amazing result. In Stalker Call of Pripyat, here we saw 53 frames per second on average. 
Looks like we get to play the original games for a bit longer before Stalker 2 comes. Tell me in the comments below, are you sad or actually happy that they've postponed the release of the game? GTA 5 next. This time running with high graphical settings, the HD 6970 pushed nearly 54 frames per second on average, which is a respectable result. About a drop on the big bird in Witcher 3, the 6970 did not have enough giddy up to run this game smoother, only delivering 17 FPS on average. Now what's really interesting, I never quite realised how eager Uncle Vesemir was to go after that griffin. Third rally was next. The menacing sound of Quattro and nearly 50 FPS was a great combo. I only wish rallying wasn't so hard, or I didn't suck at it as much. GTA 4 being GTA 4, we saw not ideal GPU utilization and only 47 FPS on average. I'm starting to lose my hope here. This game seriously deserves a dedicated video. Let me know if you would enjoy it as such. Fallout 4 ran nicely on the 6970, delivering 43 FPS on average. I can't really complain here. Mafia 2 was next. And here, the game ran at 87 FPS on average. Not a smidget of lag here. Just makes me wonder how long before we reach 100 plus FPS on this title. A new game in our testing, Battlefield 3. And here, trying not to get killed in ultra settings, the 6970 pushed 43 FPS on average. I did notice, however, few drops here and there, but overall, I'd say it was a smooth enough gameplay to enjoy. And we closed the game testing with Metro 2033 Redux. Here, for some strange reason, the HD 6970 really underperformed, only delivering 11 FPS on average. The frame time was awful, and I would say this is really unplayable. Let's close up this video with a bit of a conclusion. The HD 6970 was a new product in AMD's lineup of GPUs. Priced sharply at 369 USD or 270 pounds, this card was not cheap. But then, it does come with amazing performance uplift compared to its last year's predecessor, and finally, finally, with two gigs of GDDR5 memory. Considering myself very lucky, I got this card for under £30 or £41 USD. One can't even begin to think how amazing of a Christmas gift this must have been in 2010 when this came out. It runs some modern games on high details without breaking a sweat. I can't not wait for this particular card to be pushed further with some heavy overclock. Please stay tuned for that and also consider subscribing and hitting the like button if you do enjoy my videos. I hope to see you in the next one. I hear some loud noises are really well overdue. See you then. Bye.